Hello and welcome to the El Monitor podcast, reading the Middle East with Gilles Kepel, where each month we take a deep dive with authors and thought leaders who are shaping the way we think about this complex and dynamic region. I'm your host, Gilles Kepel, and today we are recording from the library of Institut du Monde Arabe, the Institute of the Arab World in Paris, which has in display one of the biggest collections of uh, modern Arab literature in, in Europe. And I have a very, very special guest, the architect who designed the signature building of the Institute, Jean Nouvel, one of the most acclaimed architects in the world, a Pritzker Prize recipient, and someone who has built remarkable buildings all over the planet, with a special focus on the Arab world. To name a few, the Louvre Abu Dhabi, the National Museum of Qatar, and now the extraordinary project for a resort and lodge excavated in the El Oula site in Saudi Arabia. Jean Nouvel, welcome home to some Thank extent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this presentation. Well, one of the most striking features of this building from the outside and from the inside is this automatic Moucharabie structure that we see here uh, beyond us on the southern side of the building facing south. And we have a beautiful sunny day today, so it's in full use. Uh, let's have a look at it more closely and uh, for our viewers could you explain how the Musharabia system works and why you decided to have it on uh, the building front? Yeah, I think why is the most important. <laughs> uh, that was a very specific program in Paris, uh, to have a diplomatic and cultural program linked uh, to an uh, Arabian country. Uh, not Islamic country, Arabian country. And... Uh, to, uh, to put this building in the earth of Paris and just in front of uh, Notre Dame de Paris. And uh, that I, wa I wanted, of course, uh, to create a symbol and uh, to have uh, the feeling when you look at this building that his uh, that, that vocation is, uh, is to talk about uh, Arabian culture and, uh, and, and not to have something like uh, an office building. Uh, so for that, for that, I researched uh, some some uh, architectural system to uh, reproduce what is for me the base of the emotion of the Arabian culture is the geometry and light. And uh, for for that, I wanted to use this geometry in the building, but Musharabia. Uh, in uh, in, uh, in Arabian country is perfect because uh, you need uh, that per permanently here in Paris if you are in a library and uh, if it's a, if it's a, a rainy day you cannot you have no light and uh, in 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 summer if you have a, an open with a mousharabie inside you have the sun so I I imagine to have a uh, Musharabia uh, with variable variable geometry. It's a little bit like a camera. Uh, when you turn uh, the diaphragm, uh, you, you have uh, by rotation uh, different geometries, and, and that is fantastic when you do that at this scale. And here, th that is also uh, uh, in, uh, an, an another connotation, uh, because the Musharabia generally is a precious work. Uh, 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 when, when you look at the detail and it is very well done, and when you have that, it's, it's also a little bit like a watch. When you get, get that, you, you, you have this preciosity also. So you, you have all these equivalences uh, to, to understand that it's the same uh, uh, d DNA. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, here, when you look at that now, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's of course a very strong uh, part of the emotion uh, of, of, uh, of the architecture inside because you have uh, a lot of uh, 
uh, a, a lot of shadows on the on, on the ground on the table, and uh, on all the building also, uh, it's uh, it's. Uh, is, is a variation uh, of the building in relationship with the seasons and uh, and the hours, and uh, it program also when you have the light inside a uh, specific geometrical game in the night uh, is uh, by the by the day against by by, by the light against the day, and uh, and so it's a precious uh, geometry of light during the night from from outside. So when you look at that, uh, it's of course uh, a very repetitive work. Uh, that was a little bit like if I uh, fabric a specific watch <laughs> or something like this. And, uh, and and you have all, all the system of cables and uh, yes, yeah, and 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 and, uh, and, and el electric engines uh, are, are arriving from the uh, from the uh, planes, uh, te planes technique, uh, mm -hmm. aircraft, uh, aircraft uh, technology, yes. uh, technology, and uh, you have variations. Uh, in initially, the idea is is uh, is to have a, a computer, and you have the computer. You have two parameters: is the temperature and the light. So normally you can pilot that uh, mm -hmm. easily. Well, for you, you cannot. They didn't want to have something moving uh, permanently, and me also. So you change when one of these parameters change. It, you change the, the geometry at this moment. So uh, after is a question of emotion. Architecture is a question of. Uh, of sensation and emotion. So when you are behind that, it's uh, very, very specific, uh, <laughs> and when you have that on very large and high volumes, uh, the composition at this scale is impressive and is uh, emotional. Yes, because... And also, mm. the, 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 the Mousharabi are important to, uh, for the privacy, and, and to look at true, and from outside you cannot see that, but that was necessary with the university in front. I, 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 I wanted to have a filter, and not a stupid filter, if it's possible. Yes, and the fascinating thing also is that we are here very close to the Musharrabiyah from inside, so we see how it works, its structure, but when we're in the courtyard, and you look at the building, particularly on this very sunny day, the whole uh, southern side of the Institut du Monde Arabe is made out of this enormous quantity of uh, small elements of Musharabia, yeah, yeah, just yeah. like a huge, uh, yeah. a huge Musharabia panel. And this, mm. in this, I wanted to quote you. Uh, you say you are known as saying that all architecture is local. Mm. Would you like to elaborate on that a little? For that. Uh, I, I, I absolutely, abs every architecture is local, and uh, when you are in this place of Paris, that was a, a big question, and uh, I wanted, of course, to create with this important building uh, something belonging to Paris. It's a Parisian building, it's not an Arabian building. It's a Parisian building talking about Arabian culture. And uh, the first question that was uh, to resolve this question, because that was a competition. And the first, uh, the unique uh, requirement, independently of the program, that was uh, an, an advice, put the building as fast as possible of St. Louis Island and Notre Dame de Paris. Of course, I did the opposite. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the other projects are here. And uh, when you, I wanted to catch uh, the view on, on Notre Dame, but also to create a kind of dialogue. That was a big uh, discussion during the competition when we worked that. Uh, so some, some people thought uh, that we could lose for this, for this reason, because once more it's not, a, it's not an Islamic project, so you have no mosque inside. And when you create a, a, a break oriented exactly on on Notre Dame, and, and we, w you create this dialogue uh, mm -hmm. we, we in, in the distance, in, on, on the territory, and, and, you, and you understand that, that the, the, the two buildings are not totally independent in mm -hmm. the of, uh, 
uh, in, in their composition uh, uh, and, and, and particularly uh, this one. Uh, so uh, I, I, that was important to create a, a composition with all the architecture pre-existing. Osman, architecture of uh, modern architecture of the university in concrete, this one of Albert in front, Saint Louis, uh, Saint Louis on the other side, different eye, different orientations. So it's a, it's a kind of uh, it's a kind of uh, of a sp a specific point. Uh, it's like a, a rotule, rotule mm -hmm. in English is rotule. No. Yeah, well, uh, sort no. of epicenter, something that uh, yeah, yeah, like moves uh, in your yeah, in your yeah, knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's it's, it's an articulation. Mm -hmm. It's a, a fixed uh, 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 articulation, yes. but joint, and uh, so so uh, all the building is, is, is this composition of, of this building is melting. I, everything is uh, is uh, is composed exactly in relationship with all the geometries around. Uh, is uh, I can say it's not at the it's, it's, uh, it's designed at the at, at the centi at the centimeter. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly, it's, uh, it's, it's exactly like this. It cannot be. It cannot be in another direction. For example, the axis of uh, of this break is uh, uh, is uh, two degrees mm -hmm. uh, of difference with this one, uh, and and all the building is uh, is just. Uh, and you have the height of the building like this. Mm -hmm. uh, the height of the building uh, on the s on, on the river. Is, is the height of the Osmanian building. The height of this one is the height of uh, the university. I wanted to be a little bit higher, but I, 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 I did not succeed. Uh, and uh, because uh, I, I wanted to have the continuity of the university, but, but uh, with a little uh, decalage, uh, mm -hmm. with a little uh, difference. And uh, I have that, but p perhaps not. Uh, not so important that I wanted, but all the building is also uh, is also done to be seen from the uh, from the island, uh, from the Saint Louis island and buildings, from the bridges and and the building. You have the south here, mm -hmm. so you see the building against the day like mm -hmm. this, and and you have all the transparencies, and the building seems uh, fragile and. Uh, and, and it's a question. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it was a, a great achievement. And uh, actually, uh, you designed the Institut du Monde Arabe 40 years ago. Uh, you know, uh, at the time, more or less. I designed uh, that in uh, 80, 81, 81. Yeah, which makes uh, 40 years, yes. 80, we're in twi 80, we're 22, it's 40 years ago. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. it was at the time of the, you know, the first uh, after the first oil shock, and when, of course, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, France uh, wanted was interested in the in the Arab world from a different viewpoint. We had the Grand Paris Mosque, built in the 1920s, and mm. this was, of course, another type of relation with the Arab world. And uh, this building, this magnificent building, brought to you, and you were very young at the time, you're still young, but you were even younger, uh, it brought you immediate international fame, in particular in the Arab world. And you were invited to the Arabian Peninsula, among other things, at a time when those newly rich oil states were willing to erect landmark buildings, towers, palaces, museums. Could you tell us how you were brought there and where I believe your first building was a famous office tower on the desert at the time, Doha waterfront, is that right? It's right. And uh, of course this building was well known and particularly, particularly well known by the people interested by art and by architecture. And uh, at this epoch, uh, the Minister of Culture of the, Calta, of, of the Qatar was Sheikh Saud, a member of the, uh, the royal family, uh, and uh, a very famous collector. And uh, he wanted to build in the uh, center, down, in, 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 in downtown of Doha, uh, a tower. A tower of around 200 meters high. And uh, at this epoch, I, um, I, I built uh, the Agbar Tower, Agbar Aguas of Barcelona, not, uh, it's not 
the Arabian meaning, uh, but uh, he saw that and uh, he, he went to see me and uh, he asked to me, do you think that this kind of shape uh, could be a starting point for, uh, for a tower in, uh, in an Arabian country? Uh, I said, of course, it's possible, but uh, it's not. It will not be like like like, like Akbar Tower. It will be another another system. Because all architecture is local. Because <laughs> absolutely, because uh, Akbar Tower is a pinnacle. Because uh, all the all, all the great architects of uh, Catalonia uh, since a long time play with a, with a pinnacle because uh, 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 the god uh, fabric that. Uh, Millennium before, mm -hmm. uh, very close of in, in Montserrat, very close of, of, of Barcelona, and these shapes with Gaudi, of course, mm -hmm. and Dominic and other architects became a kind of symbol. And because I, I like references and uh, I, I, I build that like a Catalan architect, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so I explained to him it will not be the same thing, and but is uh, is. This tower is also something linked uh, uh, to uh, total Musharabia, uh, with a cylinder of glass, with a cupola at the top, uh, absolutely incredible because it's, uh, kind of, it's, it's 30 meters high. Yeah, and, it's huge. Uh, yeah, huge. And uh, all, all of that is, uh, is also a game of light and, uh, and geometry. Uh, initially, that was uh, mi mi the Ministry of, uh, of Foreign Office. After, for, for different reasons, uh, it's change of, uh, of program. But the building is here, in the middle of a uh, very uh, uh, mondialist uh, <laughs> architecture yeah. of this epoche. Well, the one world, you're <laughs> against the one world architecture. <laughs> well, architecture is local. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, and I'm the State Department correspondent at El Monitor. And I'm Joe Snell, I'm El Monitor's video editor. Let's admit it, this past year has been difficult to stay on top of the news and sift through what's accurate and what's misleading. Let Al Monitor help you. If you like this podcast and care about the Middle East and North Africa, you should consider listening to Al Monitor's other audio series on the Middle East with Andrew Parasoliti and Amberin Zaman and on Israel with Ben Caspi. You can subscribe to these series on your favorite podcast platforms. And through a host of free daily and weekly newsletters, we offer a range of perspectives with the highest journalistic standards. You can subscribe to these newsletters at almonitor.com. As an award-winning media service headquartered in Washington, D.C., Almonitor has a network of over 160 contributors around the world. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to visit almonitor.com, where you can find all of these newsletters and podcasts, along with first-class reporting and analysis. Then after um, you you build the, the tower in um, on the... Uh, uh, waterfront in, um, in 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 Doha. Mm -hmm. Then came a little later, but then the, the, your, one of the greatest achievements was the famous, the world famous Louvre Abu Zabi, and this was against all odds because uh, a number of other projects were also selected for uh, Saudi mm -hmm. Thailand, but finally many of them did not see the light, and yours was the, uh, the one, the landmark uh, architect, architect, ar architecture that took place there. Uh, it was successfully implemented. It was inaugurated in November 2015 by uh, Sheikh Mohammed, the ruler of the UAA, and President uh, Macron. Could you tell us more about uh, your vision of this uh, building, what you wanted to do, this uh, one-of-a-kind uh, Museum with this huge round uh, roof around uh, 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 over it and over a sort of Medina structure inside where you uh, made the seawater penetrate. Yeah, uh, it's another adventure. The adventure uh, began because uh, Tom Krenz has a mission. Uh, to do the choice of the architects of this program, or the architecture of the program, and to do the program. So he proposed to do uh, five uh, fabulous buildings, cultural buildings, mainly museums, uh, and uh, he, 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 he proposed 
ma mainly his, his team for his team for for Guggenheim museums, for Hungary, uh, myself, uh, uh, Zaha Hadid, uh, Norman Foster. Uh, for and the Japanese architect and, 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 and Tadawando, and Tadawando. Uh, so all, all of that uh, all, all of uh, in, in the first times we began as they, they wanted to, 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 to begin by the, by the Museum of Contemporary Art, uh, Giri building for a lot of reasons because the program was not, not so clear. Uh, they wanted also to go very quickly for the historical museum and comparison of civilizations. And uh, we began with, with the building I propose. And uh, this building is mainly, uh, is, is, uh, is unique to work also with, uh, with the memory of this place, uh, with the local situation, <laughs> with, with the reasons to do that in Arabian culture and so on. And uh, I propose a, a big cupola not to cover uh, the building, because it's raining inside. <laughs> uh, so it's a kind of Musharabia uh, at, at the scale of uh, 180 meters of diameter. And, uh, and uh, you are comfortable when you're underneath, you're in the shadow. And, uh, and also I wanted to have variations, uh, not exactly in the same way than in the Arab Institute. But uh, I propose uh, after uh, I look at a lot of uh, situations uh, uh, in the trees, in the, <laughs> uh, in the weeds and so on, and I propose to create eight parallel cupola with a random system. You turn that. You turn that. The, the, the geometry is not, um, is, is not in front of the other one. So a ray of light has to go through eight filters. Mm -hmm. So, and the sun move. Everybody knows that. So, at one moment, you have one hole of light like this, disappearing. Mm -hmm. Another, at the same time, another uh, ap appears. appears. And, uh, and, and all of that, if you stay one minute or two minutes in front of that, you say, it seems it moves something is strange, uh, I, don't, I don't understand, and you see all this variation of light. So as opposed to those Musharabia, which you have to make move to, uh, electrically, oh, really? so you have created a system where yeah. the sun <laughs> itself yeah. moves and the lights it's moves it's by the power of the It's of more of ecological, the sun. perhaps. Why? Absolutely, it's <laughs> absolutely, yeah. So w when you do that at this scale, of course, you have a geometry of light printed on all the little buildings creating this reference to the Arabian city. Uh, and uh, you have a lot of variations of, uh, of, uh, of, of spots also on the people themselves. And all the, uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's done after like, like a little city around that and uh, also on the water because uh, the, uh, the, the sea enter mm -hmm. uh, in, in, uh, uh, under the cupola and, and sometimes between the building also. So uh, it's always game with geometry and light, it's al 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 always game with the uh, with local culture and uh, with the inventions linked uh, to... Uh, uh, to, uh, like the wind to, towers to, to, and uh, to, yeah. to, a, to a background uh, mm. and the sensitivity uh, linked to this uh, to these countries. Uh, so uh, it's done. Uh, it's um, it's a fantastic also program because uh, and I did also all, all the museography, museography uh, system, and. Uh, and I propose to have uh, this, this idea of comparison uh, between uh, three objects of different uh, o origin at, at the same at, at the same time. So all all the all the museography of all the all the museum is done is based on, on this comparison. 
uh, and, and, the, and the vestibule is, uh, gives the key. Uh, when you have, you have all, 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 only tw tw three, uh, three artworks or, or objects, uh, you can compare. And after you refine this comparison uh, in another way on, on, on the other system, on, on the other e epochs. And uh, of course, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's unique. I think architecture as a vocation is to be unique. Of course, and also it is quintessential because, you know, to some extent in your building and in the whole design and the play with the lights, the sea, the heat, uh, and uh, all of that in the, in the Arab city, in a way you, you summed up uh, the whole spirit of the history and the civilization, which is also mm. something that you did, but from a rather different point of view, in another uh, landmark initiative that was completed uh, later on, the National Museum of Qatar. And for that, you chose a desert role as a model. Can you explain to us how this I have uh, to explain that to you, because initially I did not want to do that. I wanted uh, to do something uh, in, in, the, in, in the ground, in the sand, because I proposed to do this museum at the, at the place who was the initial palace, uh, palace of, the, of the royal family at the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, and uh, Qatar, uh, their uh, ambition and, uh, and their characteristic, the characteristic of the Qatar for them, and the most important, is a meeting of the sea and the desert. Uh, it's a peninsula, <coughs> little peninsula. And, uh, and I wanted to play with that. Uh, but uh, Sheikh Saud, uh, uh, who was the minister at this, epo at this, ministry at this epoch, uh, uh, asked to me to design this, muse this museum. And uh, after, uh, they decided to have something more spectacular because when when the building was essentially un underground underground that was uh, like a land art so mm -hmm. different lines in the in the water and in the in the sand uh, and uh, they said we know we want something really uh, they had to have a landmark uh, oui yeah. a landmark i think the other one was a landmark also so, but you know but more spectacular but, well, from well, their, but, what but, they wanted but, yeah. but they wanted something more uh, Visible. Uh, visible, visible, and uh, imme immediately, uh, mm -hmm. wow. Uh, and uh, so I research that, and uh, I, I look at very often this uh, sand roses, because what is fabulous is a, is a, is a, is 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 a natural architecture done with the sand and uh, and, uh, and and the quality of the air and the, and the, and the salt and the, the humidity the little of humidity uh, to create uh, this random system of plan of plan uh, totally uh, uh, totally uh, improbable so mm. and uh, uh, I say if we if you, if we repeat that at at, at at the human scale what what is mm -hmm. <laughs> what could be a, a, a sun roses uh, in, in a sun rose in this condition. Uh, I propose that. Uh, that was possible only because we have the computer. If not, <laughs> you cannot do that. A few decades, uh, a few decades before, uh, and we, and uh, for this reason, uh, the, the different spaces are unpredictable. And you cannot know exactly what uh, mm -hmm. what is the next one, and it will be very high, the very, uh, uh, with different angulations, with different. So, uh, so it's uh, it's unique. It's unique. It's uh, automatically something uh, memorable. That's true. Uh, is done uh, with uh, the color of the sand. It's, uh, it's mono material, uh, outside, inside. Uh, so it's uh, it's unique, <laughs> and it's something which typically could not have been more local. And, but, as, uh, as yeah, you say, yeah, but it's, it's also it's, it's also uh, it's also done in relationship with the climate, because what is important is to have shadow, of 
course, to to have the promenade uh, around in the shadow, to be uh, to to enter uh, to enter in the sand walls uh, with fresh with, with, with the freshness, uh, and uh, and to have uh, after uh, a, a game of for the scenography also. I use also the, the mesography uh, to and I propose to program because the collection of. Uh, uh, of, of initial objects so was not uh, totally uh, totally up to par. Uh, yes, totally enough to create a, yes. huge, uh, a huge museum. So I propose to invite uh, 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 di di director of of, of movies uh, to create movies uh, printed on the. On, on, on the walls, on the sand walls, and, and on different angles also like this. And uh, so, inside, so inside, you have the feeling that that, that, that you have an emission uh, of uh, of the light by the, uh, by by the rose itself, mysterious rose. And uh, finally, uh, you're now working on uh, on a huge uh, project, which is a resort and lodge within the new developments uh, of uh, the El Ola site in Saudi Arabia with its huge uh, rock structures, its excavated Nabatean temples. And uh, to some extent, uh, now you've gone definitely in a sort of fusion with, uh, uh, with the ground, with the local. You are working on uh, resorts and lodges where that would be excavated within the rocks using not only uh, the light but also the the temperature inside so it would be a total fusion fusion between architecture and nature and tradition can you tell us more about uh, uh, this project which is in the at the stage of conception uh, but it's not yet being built right you we are working on it now yeah uh I, I designed this project three years ago, and uh, it's long. So the studies like this are long, effectively, but uh, we will begin uh, this year. We will begin at the end of this year. And uh, what is uh, interesting in this project is uh, is also because it's, um, it's a specific program. The resort is a resort of a very, uh, very high level uh, quality, and uh, it's also a summit center. Uh, for meetings, uh, cultural, political, and so on. Uh, it's two sides, but uh, very close uh, and complementary. Uh, so it's not only a, a resort, it's, it's this combination. Uh, and I think the meaning is all the same, because uh, if it's also to, to, have the, to welcome uh, very important people, uh, cultural people or political people, uh, and, and, and to organize uh, something very symbolic of the country is, uh, is another system uh, so on the architectural uh, uh, work. And, uh, and so uh, these rocks at this uh, in Shiran is uh, incredible. It's, uh, it's like a sea with, uh, with different uh, Rocks of different shapes with different uh, patterns on the, on, on, the, uh, on the rocks with a summit generally uh, black uh, uh, with uh, you know, black stone uh, uh, always the same uh, uh, in uh, on on all the on all the landscape like this and uh, I wanted to use that because uh, I cannot imagine. Uh, in the middle of this, uh, of this different uh, sculpture, natural sculpture, Rocky sculpture, yes, yeah, yeah. A, a building, yeah. uh, uh, something was wrong, something, and uh, it's interesting because uh, the necropole, uh, the necropolis uh, uh, architecture had this question also, and, exactly, uh, and, uh, and and they and they. And they enter in the rock and, 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 and they excavate uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, they did a sculpture mm -hmm. of an architecture in the rocks, mm -hmm. in the facade in the, of, of the rocks, for example. Or they play with that. So uh, I, I think I, 
In Barcelona, I, am a, I was a Catalan architect. I, I am an Abatean architect. You're, so an, abat so you're so an Abatean <laughs> architect. Well, thank you, thank you very much for this uh, enlightening conversation. Dear mm. Jean Nouvel, mm. thank you for joining us today on uh, Reading the Middle East. And thanks to all of you for listening. I will be back in a few weeks with another of one of the very top authors and thought leaders in the Middle East and on the Middle East. See you later. Goodbye next time. If you have not done so already, please sign up for Reading the Middle East and it monitors other podcasts on the Middle East with Andrew Parasidinti and Amberin Zaman and on Israel with Ben Kaspit on your favorite podcast platform.